Hey guys, I'm here in Southern Pennsylvania with my friend Steve Austin. We're at a Scion BJJ. What town are we in? Southampton. Southampton, Pennsylvania. If you're in the area, definitely come down. Had some awesome training over the last two days. But what I want him to show is, you know, the scissor sweep, even as a white belt, you've probably seen it. It's like one of the most basic, you know, day one jujitsu sweeps. But training with Steve yesterday, I learned something about it that I hadn't seen before. So there's always deeper you can go on these basic moves, right? And this is very cool, and, uh, and I'm sure you guys will be able to use it too. Awesome. Yeah, so like, just the concept of the scissor sweep, I learned it, it's like my first sweep I ever learned, and I love, I love catching people with it, especially like, like purple and up, because they're always, this, they get so irritated because it's the first day one technique. So let's break it down real fast, how I like to set it up. So I'm usually, I like the far side collar um, more than here. It depends on what I'm trying to play off of it. If I want chokes, then I'll kind of go this side. But if I really want the sweep, I'm gonna go far side collar because I get more control of his upper body. When I scoot out, I'm looking to set my foot up in the hip and my knee shield. My knee shield, my foot's connected to the hip, up to the shoulder, controlling posture. Then I kind of set it up from here on how I'm gonna play, depending on what he's doing with his base. If he's just kind of hanging out here, I'm just gonna load him up, bring it in, set, and go regular scissor sweep. But, everybody knows the scissor sweep, so when I set up, I like to, he already he'll base out. I like to either kick his leg out, if he doesn't do anything, I'm just gonna extend his whole body and drop him that way. But, again, he starts reacting. He wants to try to free this leg. So I'm gonna time it. As soon as I can keep this leg away, I know what he wants to do is he wants to kill this connection. So usually what he'll do is he'll bring his leg in to try to clear, and then that's when I go. I'm waiting until he brings his base in really close and then capitalize. It's going to be easier to tip you then. So again, it's always a timing situation. And I'm just sitting here playing. I'm going to keep my foot connected. Sometimes I'll just kind of see where it goes. So I'll put it down and then I'll think, all right, I'll time it. Watch, watch, watch. There we go. So then what will happen is he'll know I'm still hunting it and he won't try to disconnect. And then I just pull, go back to the beginning. So either way, I'm using one to set up the next, and I'm just trying to watch where he puts his leg there. Either if you don't do anything, I sweep you. If you try to kill it when it comes close, then that's when I execute. So Nice move, but I think the lesson is you can never just dismiss a move because it's too basic or too white belt or no. whatever. There's always deeper, and, and like you said, you like to catch it on higher rank guys because it makes them feel bad about themselves because it's a white belt. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a white belt, but it's just showing how strong it really is. You know, I, uh, I took a, a camp like last summer and it was probably like 90% of the stuff that I seen and people were like, did you feel like it was a waste? And I said, no. Each belt, upgrade that technique. Arm bar, make sure it's at your, whatever rank you're at, upgrade before you move on and start acquiring all these new techniques. Like, try to see how deep you can really figure it out. You know, I feel like I just started learning jujitsu. You know, especially when you start uh, timing, creating behavior, having them react and capitalizing on that. It's, for me, it's more fun. Yeah, it, it, ne it never ends. No. Nah. Nah, nah. Go. So uh, what's your info? What's the website? What's the website, Sion BJJ. You can find us on Facebook as well. You can find me on Instagram, Steve Austin BJJ. Make sure you put in the BJJ, otherwise you find Stone Cold, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, Steve, thank you so much for coming out, Charlie. Charlie from the Plaza, out.